Top team. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty one. I suppose the other problem here, not only the black when it comes down to that, will be just getting in behind the right hand red of the two, which will be the last red. And it's far enough away from the cushion to play in behind it, but still got to be done. 28. And the cue ball will be running here because clearly if he plays the blue, he'll be playing around in behind the red off two cushions. Cue ball's travelling a long way. So the pace has got to be absolutely right. Switch it off, please. Somebody's phone. And uh, it's uh, a pretty crucial moment here. Done without that one. That is Top not three. too bad. Pretty good shot. Okay, the red only just went in, but that doesn't really matter. And also, I think I had to play it that way to get far enough up the table to take the pink. A lot of tension here. Feel it. And that is a better shot than it looked. Again, showed good control. 40. Ding. Probably still thinking about the black off the spot that he missed. Inexplicable. 45. Well, it's level here with uh, the bulk line, and it's not good. It means he can't hold. Pots the brown, he has to go around the table. He's got no option. <coughs> that gives Ding Junhui a little bit of hope, that last shot. It's a great effort, and he deserves to have a shot at this, which he's got. He would have played on to the blue into the middle, but it's not all bad.
But there was 49. Well, I missed it by a long way, and for a second it seemed the blue was going to hang over the middle pocket, but... This is not potable, and both players have still got a chance. Ding will just be pleased to have another shot. That'll do. That's an excellent safety shot. All you've got to do there, I suppose, is give priority to getting the object ball safe. Easy said than done. That is a clever shot from Ding, whether he's got the snooker. I don't think he has exactly, but uh, it was a good effort. Well, he won't mind that. That's uh, worked out very nicely indeed. Yeah, yeah. There's a good chance here he can get in behind pink and black if he just plays off the blue very, very thin. Leave the blue virtually where it is and try and get the white in behind the pink somewhere, but he's 12 points behind. And there's one more chance. I was looking at the pot, but uh, very, very thin safety is pretty straightforward, I think. This white wasn't very, very close to the cushion. He'd play the cross double because he'd guaranteed to get a good white, but remember he's 12 in front, so the, the blue cross double is OK. Don't blame him for that shot at all, he's played it nicely. Good shot, well played. There's a lot of pressure on safety shots like that. Now, can Ding really dig down on this, hold the white exactly where the blue is and send the blue round the table, trying to get the snooker in behind the black. Just got to hit this full ball. He has got it full ball, so it should be a snooker. It's unlucky if it's not, he played that well. Let's have a little look at what we can see of this blue.
He's obviously just in the way Mark from our cameraman at the moment, so we can't get directly behind the shot. But I'm sure he can see the blue, but I don't know whether he can see the potting angle of the blue. I think he, if he can see the potting angle of the blue, he'll certainly take it on. He could see the potting angle. Oh. Needs a kiss. Didn't get one. The drama here, he may just have a chance to hide in behind the black with the cue ball. But he's got to make sure if he plays that, he doesn't leave the pink potable. He should always make sure that he keeps it safe. He's actually looking at whether it will go in the middle, but that's very ambitious, you'd think. Well, he's playing snooker not in the way well, I expected I have to admit but hasn't quite got it either it's about half of this sticking out yes and if he plays cushion first and he can, he can play the what the stun off the cushion and leave the white where the pink is this is what he's looking at now but I agree with you Neil I'd have either push the pink up the tail and try to get him behind the black if this goes right what he's trying to do here is screw into the cushion so when he hits the pink the white will stop dead now as long as he gets a, f a fullish contact on the pink we'll have the same scenario as before when he snookered him behind the black it all depends how hard he hits this. But if, it, if he hit it hard, you've got to make sure you hit it full ball because half ball, both balls could end up in the same end half of the table. He's hit it half ball as he fluked it. Oh, you can't believe what happened there. Well, what a shame the match had to end in that way. Mark Davis stood really deep and got himself right back into the match. But an unbelievable fluke from Ding Zhongwei takes him into the next round. And